How's it going, guys? You all right? Of course you're all right. You've come to witness some amazing pickups, obviously. <laughs> How's it going? I love this uh, flavour of Monster, by the way. Really nice, this one. Pipeline Punch. Proper nice. Yeah, I even went uh, out my way to the corner shop. That's a little bit further for that flavour. But yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what I picked up over the last few weeks. Um, I'm a little bit sad because I feel like my videos are going to slow down kind of even more because I'm going to be making like less pickups, you know, since the car boots have ended. At the moment, I'm relying on the local pickups and charity shop finds, really. Um, we have got a very small indoor market um, that's like near us, like a, a really small indoor market slash car boot. There's only like 10 stores in there. But I've still made some decent pickups from them, so I will show you guys. Um, so I will be going there on uh, Sundays, and it also runs Saturdays, but I, I imagine it'll be even more um, quieter on Saturdays than Sundays. But I will head down whenever I'm not working, just to try and keep up my pickups. But obviously I'll be getting some stuff nearer Christmas. Anyway guys, I'll jump right into the pickups. So, um, as always, I collect Retro Gamer, uh, get one of these each month, so... This one is focusing on 40 years of SNK. It also uh, has like a, a cool looking back cover of it as well. Uh, I don't know much about SNK, hence why, um, yeah, this is extra useful to me because I can like, obviously read and learn more about that. So yeah, that's this month's Retro Gamer. Um, I did order something on eBay because uh, my lovely friend, uh, Vincenza, she got me into um, like reading like batman comics and things i'm not like a massive comic collector but um i'm not like mad like proper mad on like all the avengers and whatever i like a, a bit of uh, marvel bit of dc um i like thor stuff like that and i love batman and batman's like my favorite so um i thought this was really cool she had this and um i actually ordered it myself uh, for myself on ebay uh, it was like a tenner um so this is a really cool piece of like history memorabilia as well so this is batman the war years from 1939 to 45, obviously the time of the Second World War. So during the Second World War, um, there were like obviously Batman comic strips in the newspapers and things, and this just features all of them basically. Um, from throughout the war, bit of Batman and Robin, and everything. So and obviously like the the quality, um, they've upped the quality a little bit, obviously for this, like the colours and all that. Um, and I haven't I had a proper read through, but. Have you seen that? There's like a freaking... There we go, in that corner. There's like a swastika as well. <gasps> they can get away with anything back then before the, you know, showers of snowflakes we have daily nowadays. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to reading through that. I haven't had a proper read through it yet. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that. So I, just, I think it's a, like I say, a bit of cool uh, history as well. A bit of memorabilia. Right, so... From that indoor car boot, I've made some nice pickups, to be honest. Um, I will show you on screen. Um, I'm just thinking what I've got stored on my phone. I'll show you a screenshot on the screen. Uh, I got um, the A-Team for £4. It was like a DVD box set, like 27 DVDs, the whole, you know, shebang and whatever. Put it on for £24.99 by an hour best offer. Someone offered at £22.50 and I thought it's not too bad. So I accepted that and then obviously it cost a few quid to send. So... Minus the £4 I paid and the few quid postage, I made like 15 quid on it, so not too bad at all. Uh, so that was just a nice little resell. Um, I also got, literally never see, see these on any car boots um, like locally to me, but um, Game Boy Advance games, loose ones, obviously. <laughs> it's really hard to find boxed and complete nowadays. Um, I find it hard anyway for Game Boy games. So yeah, these were 50p each. We have Monsters Inc., I don't have any of these games, by the way, so it was a bonus. Finding Nemo. Super Mario Advance 4. So that's like Super Mario Brothers 3. And Spyro's Adventure. I wasn't sure if I had that one or not because um, I've got a few Spyro games, but I don't have that one. So bonus. Two quid for all them. Not too bad at all. Um... I'll give you guys a bit of a tip. I mean, literally, 99.9% .9 chance this will not happen. It's, this is the first time it's happened to me. But if you see, like, um, like a load of CDs and, like, singles, you know, obviously they look like that. <laughs> like, I was just digging through because I was looking for m, &M CDs. Um, I'm after all of m, &M CDs, basically. I've got some of them. Um, so I'm just looking for the other ones because it's the only, like, artist, like, whose CDs I'll actually buy. Um... 
I, I just adore Eminem and I, I just like all his CDs, to be honest. Uh, like, especially the older ones. Because in CX, they sound like four or five quid, like Marshall Mavis LP and all like the old ones. So I'd rather, obviously, find them on car boots for 50p's or a quid. I haven't had much luck yet, but I'm always looking. So as I was looking for, like, Eminem CDs, like, albums or singles, I saw the spine of a PS1 demo, official UK PlayStation magazine. I was like, what the hell? Like, that's mixed in with the CDs. Um, so after scouring, um, like, through them, I actually found a total of three. So I was really happy with that. Um, so basically, I think one or two of them have the wrong discs in, but... So the woman just wanted a quid for like all three of them, so not bad at all. So, Perfect 10, 12 playable demos, every one scored 10 out of 10 in official PlayStation magazine. So that's one that I don't have. Let me just double check. So that should be disc 95. So I think I believe that's right. Euro Demo Future 95, I, I believe anyway. So what we've got on this, we've got Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3, Driver, Metal Gear, Spyro Year of the Dragon, Tekken Soccer World Touring Cars, uh, Pro Evo 2, uh, Gran Turismo and Quake 2. Plus our very rare Driver 2 demo, which hasn't been seen in more than two years. <laughs> that's that's unbelievable. Like all them. What a demo disc that is, guys. That is a sick demo disc. So I believe that one has the right one in. Uh, so this one is, it should be disc 83. Oh yeah, that one is correct actually. That one is correct. It's got Rayman Rush on the front. I can't remember what you actually do on Rayman Rush. Obviously, I've heard of it. Um, Metal Gear Solid Special Missions. Um, I've got that. I'm trying to find somewhere to lean. <laughs> Everything's here. Um, there is Muppet Race Mania. Um, I've never actually... I've never heard of that until earlier. I was looking through local swaps and sales, and someone locally is selling that for 15 quid. And I was like, are you actually off your rocker? I didn't actually say that. I said it in my head. And I um, looked on eBay and it, it is like pretty much about 20 quid, like buy it now or 15-ish, like that, what it's selling for. I was like, what the hell? Wouldn't have thought that, but anyway. Um, Alfred Chicken, I would like that one as well. I remember playing it on um, a McDonald's old PlayStation 1 demo. Uh, they've also got Mr. Driller as well, but I would like to get that for the Dreamcast. But yeah, um, so I believe that's another one with a correct disc. Um... I already have that demo anyway, complete. I already have that. Um, but yeah, I looked at, through these while I was on the stall. So, disc 44, and this is disc number 41. So, I haven't actually popped it in yet to see um, what is actually on it. So, obviously, what's shown on there, what is there? There's like Driver, Rugrats, uh, Roll Cage, Ridge Racer Type 4, all that lot. Obviously, they won't be on it, but I already own this demo anyway. So, I've got an extra demo. 41 so yeah it'll be uh, exciting to see what's on that <laughs> um i also collect uh, i collect south park um the dvd sets when i can buy them cheap because uh, i've got like that massive pick up ages ago when i was getting like like a quid per season literally i got like a massive bundle for like a tenner it was unreal so um I didn't have this one because I've got them written down on my phone. The guy totally thought I was like CEX in it and that. I was like, no, honestly, and I actually showed him like... Because I don't CEX in front of stalls anyway. I do have the decency to walk off and do it in private. But, um, yeah, I was genuinely checking my list on my phone. Let me just make this a bit bright, guys. That's a bit better. It always seems to uh, not get as bright. <laughs> I don't know. Bloody pitch black in here. So, uh, yeah, this is South Park Complete Season 2 and I didn't have this. Um, I think he wanted he wanted two pound fifty, I believe, for it. I'm sure it was that. Um, but obviously the bit of wear and tear there. But I can deal with it. I, I don't mind too much. Um, everything's there anyway. Um, so I said to him, "Will you take two quid because of the the rip on it?" And uh, he was proper in and iron, but eventually like, he did say yes. So for a couple of quid, I don't mind to be fair. So it's all there. All the discs are all right. Absolutely fine. So buzzing with that. Another one for the uh, South Park collection. If I can fold it right. There we go. I was happy with that. Um, this one is a charity shop find. It was actually, uh, I think it was like one ninety nine. Um, not a massive Simpsons collector, but I just thought it like looks cool, to be honest. Uh, just something really geeky and cool. So, The Simpsons Guide to Springfield. Um, oh, yeah, £2. Still got the uh, thingy my bob on it. Um, so, yeah, it's just literally what it says on, on the tin, on the front of the book. Um, 
find these bowler armor. There's, there's all sorts, there's like Moe's Tavern and all that lot on it. Jebediah Springfield Park. It's just kind of like the history of it, really. It goes through like all of the um, like locations and landmarks of Springfield. And uh, yeah, just gives you a nice little history and stuff. So I thought it was cool. Not like massive, massive fan of The Simpsons, but I do really like it. So I thought I'll grab it. Okay, let me show you. This is a car boot pickup. I need to get it on my phone because my, my memory is shocking. It is shocking. There we go. I've got it on my phone, so um, now I could obviously describe it, um, and I know that I'm giving like an accurate description because <laughs> I'm seeing what you're seeing right now. So obviously, I've got a picture on the screen. Um, so it was a PlayStation Two um, with a controller, memory card, and four games. Uh, so obviously, you can see um, I kept three of the games. I already had a uh, Stuntman, so th there's no point really. So I kept Starskin Hutch. I used to have that um, years ago. Super Buster Move, I've, I've never owned that one before, and Sled Storm. So I've, I'm sure I recently picked up PS1, didn't I, Sled Storm? Showed that on the last video, I believe. Um, but yeah, I didn't have these, and so no point in taking CX for like 10p each, because I'd, I'd rather just have them in the collection. Um, not the best games, but I need them for the collection anyway, so I kept them. Um, Kaboot Jamie actually got to this before me, because uh, we was like... Uh, Sometimes, obviously, we walk around the car boot a bit together if one of us sees something. Uh, sometimes we just kind of walk off and part ways, be like, oh, yeah, seeing a bit, whatever. Um, yeah, he was, uh, was just at this uh, stall as I was going down the aisle. And, um, yeah, he said, uh, oh, you can have it if you want, like, I don't mind. Uh, she only wanted um, a fiver for it. Yeah, I had to think then. I'm sure it was a fiver. It wasn't a tenner. It was something like, yeah, it was literally a fiver. Um, it also had, like, a, a transparent, like, see-through... Uh, red uh, PS1 or 2 controller um, can be used with either um, Jamie just wanted that and I think he ended up getting it for like a quid so he took that and then he said to me you can have the rest if you want because she was asking a fiver you know I said are you sure um, and uh, yeah I, I ended up getting like some decent CX credit I think I'm sure I got about I'm sure it was about 25 quid I think for the PS2 because I'm sure, I can't remember if it's like discounted about 23 or something, but I ended up getting like 25 for it because they didn't take it in for a discounted price. So uh, 25 uh, CX credit, three games, and um, I kept the memory card for myself because uh, they always come in handy. I'd rather obviously keep memory cards. Um, I need more really PS1 memory cards for the amount of stuff I'm picking up. Uh, but obviously never short PS2 memory cards. Uh, like I said, I'd rather me keep them than take them to CX for like bloody 10 pins and whatever so I want a bad pickup at all and um, I will show you guys in a bit what I accumulated um, my CX credit to it's an amazing pickup okay so another deal I'm going to show you this is another local pickup I've been pretty lucky with local pickups to be honest lately um, so I'll show you a picture on screen right now um, a load of Xbox 360 games the guy wanted 30 quid um, I was currently on shift at work, but because I'm like, a, I work in home care, I'm always like driving about to clients' addresses, and uh, if I manage to like get a short break or whatever, I can just go pick something up. Um, he said to me, you know, I, I said I was interested, whatever, and he was like, need gone tonight, and I was like, we you take 20, pick up tonight? And uh, like I took advantage of that fact, knocked it down to 20, he said, yeah, that's fine. So I was buzzing with that, I went and picked all of them up for 20 quid. Um, I ended up getting, it was a total of literally somewhere about 75 quid cx credit for all them obviously you can see a lot of really decent trade fodder uh obviously the lego games in there you've got call of duties injustice uh saints row whatever and um, i did keep a handful of games i think they're just on here so i actually did uh keep lego batman 2 because you can't get that on the xbox one so i just wanted it obviously for the 360 um and obviously all these i've kept are complete so, like I say, I do love Batman as well. So, I didn't really want a part of it. I thought I'd keep that for the collection. Um, I kept Bulletstorm. Because uh, it just it just looks like a, a pretty cool game. Um, I don't know if it actually came with instructions or not. I can't remember. Because some 360 games just came with a little crappy leaflet, didn't they? Um, but, yeah, that looks really good. It says it's an intense, outrageous shooter. But, yeah. Just looks like a cool game. And I've never got to play that before. Um, like I said, I'd rather keep some of these if they're, if they're not worth much, but I wouldn't mind them in my collection rather than just parting with them for like 10, 20 piece, whatever. Um, this one was worth quite a bit. I haven't actually took the sticker off yet. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I am a fan of these games. Um, 
I've got Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the PS2. I bought that years ago off Amazon for about, I think it was about a tenner, and it's gone gone up a bit in value. Um, so, obviously, yeah, I, I need the uh, the old one. I might possibly get it. I've been thinking of whether to get it for PS1 or Dreamcast. I might maybe go for the Dreamcast version. I'm not too sure yet uh, of the first Marvel vs. Capcom. But I love these sorts of games that I did fall in love with Marvel vs. Capcom 2 years ago. Um, so, always good to have these. So this is the third one. Uh, there's Crackdown 2. I don't believe I have it. I'm sure I've only got the first Crackdown game, so I kept that one. They're not high-value games, but they just look fun, to be honest. So I kept that one. There's also a game called Wet. I don't know what it's about. I think it's like some kind of like shooter, you know, like violent one or whatever. Um, not a high-end game whatsoever. I think it goes for like quid, quid 15 CX. So I've kept that for the collection. And the last one, I don't believe I've got it. I don't think so. I might have, though. Can't remember. Driver San Francisco. I'm a big fan of the Driver games since the uh, the old PS1 days. Uh, so I've not played this one. Um, I enjoyed Driver 3 as well on PS2. That was really good uh, for the time it was made. So I thought I'd keep that. So, yeah, not bad at all off 20 quid. 20 quid and I got to keep a handful of games for the collection. And um, like I say, about 75 um, CX trade credit. So, show you what I got, guys. Show you what I got. We literally like never have NES games in stock, but in uh, my CX we had DuckTales, which I already have, uh, the first one on the NES, so obviously didn't go for that. Um, and we also had Chippendale Rescue Rangers. That was only like four quid. So I thought I'd grab that just for the collection because it was just cheap and cheerful. And then this one... So I put that 75 quid um, towards the um, PS2 credit. Uh, this was £98 um, on the CEX Online NES game. Um, I think last time I saw it, it was like around 105, 110 mark, I think. So it has actually gone down a bit, which was really good, obviously, because I've been after it. Even came with a nice little Nintendo sleeve. This is Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. So, yeah, like I say, it was 98 quid. I've opened it up and everything. It's all legit. So I'm buzzing with that. Only a little, uh, couple of little nicks on the back, but I can totally deal with that. I don't mind because it's only like the, the caution um, label. I don't, I don't need to take no notes and no warning labels. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can see it's obviously the Palais version. So I'm absolutely buzzing to have that. I really am. So I just need the other Castlevanias now. Need the first one. Need the second one, Simon's Quest. And... I you know what, it's been bugging me. I can't remember if I've picked up Super Castlevania 4. I'm sure I don't have it. I don't think I've got it, so I need that one as well. And obviously the other ones, the dreaded Symphony of the Night on PS1. I do like genuinely want these games. I'm not just buying them just because. Um, the only thing I'm dreading, it's just obviously the prices. Um, but yeah, like I say, Super Castlevania 4 on the SNES, it's only worth about 25 quid or something like that it goes for. Um, I think Simon's Quest goes for 20 quid and the first one might be a bit less, I can't remember. Both were worth around 20, I think, or 30 max. So yeah, I will pick them up at some point. Right, I'm really sport for choice what I want to show you guys. Um, I've got this glowing right near me. I haven't shown you this, I picked it up ages ago, ages ago from a local geek shop. It was, uh, well, it was Trade Nation we used to have, uh, which took over Granger Games, but that went ages ago, unfortunately. I was gutted uh, losing that, because not only Funko Pops, they had other cool geek stuff. So it was a shame to lose it, but this was ages ago I got this. Yes, I still like Call of Duty, I still like it. I'm just one of them people, <laughs> still in the COD fan base. So this is Call of Duty Nuketown Lite. I absolutely love the map Nuketown and just everything about it, to be honest. It connects via USB, so that's why I've got it connected to my... Um, my computer tower so i can show you guys so uh yeah no batteries or fuss or whatever just go straight into usb so i'll show you guys while it's lit up yeah it looks proper good let me do it like on a there we go that's what it that's what it looks like on like a black background um it kind of doesn't slot in it kind of just balances that's just how you keep it so yeah i just really like that i sometimes have it on um when i have the light out because i always have obviously have the light out at night when watching movies or gaming so it's nice to have that on glowing next to me uh, as a as a switch so you can do it on and off so yeah i was happy having that i think it was about 15 or something when i bought it it was ages ago to be fair and i've been forgetting to show you guys <laughs> right let me show you mm, 
I'm not showing you next. So I'll show you a couple of more modern gaming pickups because I'll sh show you. I was playing one of these um, just before I started recording this video. I thought, you know, I feel like recording a video. Show you guys what I picked up. So, yeah, I actually got Red Dead Redemption 2, of course. I, th I think, for me, it's the game of the year. Um, I know it's recently been, I believe it's Joystick Game of the Year Awards or something. I don't know if it's the official one or whatever. I don't take much notice because my head's, honestly, it's, it's just buried in, like, collecting and retro. <laughs> um, and it has been for ages. I don't take much notice and just get, I just play the odd modern games. But, for me, this is the game of the year. It really is. Uh, loads of people are saying... Oh, I haven't been out long enough to get Game of the Year, but this deserved to win the Joystick Game of the Year. Guess what won it? Fortnite. Fortnite? I'm a Fortnite player. Fortnite's addictive. I enjoy it, but still, I think Fortnite did actually come out last year, but I think it's it's based on not really gameplay, but it's just literally the amount, the millions of people who play it weekly, and that's because... That's because Epic Games listen to the fan base. They listen to what people want and they update it every week. And that's what keeps people playing, including me, when I get a chance anyway. I, like I said, I've been playing this. I've been playing a bit of Call of Duty online, a bit of Call of Duty Zombies, and then Fortnite. And then just the, the odd bit of retro game and whatever. So I've just been juggling between all of them. But yeah, honestly, I only had to sink a few hours into this game to see how amazing it was. It really is amazing, guys. So I'd honestly recommend that. I really would game of the year for me there's just so much to do on it so much and tell you what i'll i'll tell you about a side mission i did literally shortly before i did this video and i even took a picture of it for my instagram because i just thought it was freaking amazing so if you don't want to know about this side mission it, it's just a tiny stranger side mission if you don't want to like know about it and want to discover it for yourself just skip like a minute from now okay so i warned you about the spoiler it's not a massive spoiler anyway but yeah, you basically go go past this guy, he'd fallen off his horse, bleeding to death. He's like, oh, I need a doctor, will you help me? It's like, yeah, yeah, fine, all right. So get him on the back of your horse. You take him to this doctor and then you see him in this chair in this doctor's room and he's like, uh, the doctor's like, well, buddy, it's infected. You, you're going to pull through, but we're going to have to amputate. And then he's like, what, what? And he's like, shits himself. And then the doctor was like, oh, this will knock him out. And he just like injects him, you know, like a... A, a local no not local it's general anesthetic that knocks him out so he falls to sleep he's just like that he's got his arm hanging and uh yeah apparently like all this bit's infected so the doctor says to you he actually goes thanks for bringing him in whatever um he was like you should you should get on now she, he was like you don't want to stick around for this and i was like i work in healthcare like i've worked out on the front line of the emergency ambulances i want to see this shit so i'm there i'm sat there with me monster, I'm sort of like, go ahead, bro, you go ahead. And, um, yeah, so he gets this freaking, this axe, this, like, meat cleaver, that was it. It's like, it gets, like, meat cleaver out. He's sawing and all blood spattering onto him and onto me. And, like, and I'm just sitting back, like, laughing my head off, like, watching this. And, uh, yeah, they just ends up like a bloody mess, like what I'm showing you on screen. Um, so I, I had to take a screenshot. I, I couldn't, like, just, <laughs> I thought it was ace. I was like, I'm grabbing this pitch for the Instagram. So I thought that was a hell of a side mission. It's so I'm telling you about this because it's so good. Like the the thought they put into even the little side missions. This was like it doesn't even like come up on your um, index on your map as a side mission. It's just literally a spare of the moment stranger mission, and you can choose to obviously stop to help the stranger or just carry on do whatever you was doing. Um, but yeah, like you say, I just think it's amazing the amount of thought they're putting into the side missions. So incredible game would recommend if you haven't already got it i'm sure loads of you guys are playing it if you're playing it let me know what you reckon so i'd love to hear your opinions so anyway um i do i do love my lego um so um i did pick up um a game that's like not long come out i don't usually do this it's just if i really want the game i will buy it to be honest it's only if i really want it so this is lego dc super villains because in honesty i prefer dc over marvel i like the batman and joker and harley quinn and all that i like them over the uh, marvel lot to be honest the the only real one i really love from marvel is um thor i love the thor movies so yeah this one came with um what is it a limited edition joker dog tag i could have got either this one or one which had actually had a lego figure which was lex luther but 
I, I love the Joker. Absolutely love the Joker. So I thought I'm going to go with the dog tag Joker one. Like, I was thinking, why why didn't they bring out um, the Joker Lego figure with this game? Well, I don't know. So obviously you got the game in there. Really enjoying it so far. I'm probably about four levels in or something. Uh, let me show you it. I'll just get this out just to give you a little show. Um, what I, I really like, obviously, as you can see, Joker is the main star. He's the main star of the show, isn't he? You can see. Um, yeah, on, on the main menu, I don't know if you've heard the song Wolf Mother, Joker and the Thief. That's what plays on the start menu. And it also plays in like the little hub bit, like... You, you know what you like just spawn to when you're not in a mission so cool like how that song's included i really like that so uh, as you can see it's good to be bad wanted <laughs> wanted the joker so i'm buzzing with that i like that it's just a nice little you know just a nice little token that comes to the game didn't have to pay like any extra for this uh, special edition i actually got it from argos um so it would have cost this just for the standard edition anyway so um yeah just a nice little uh joker little collectible so yeah I've, I've been playing that as well recently uh this was a charity shop find i believe it was um i think it was like 2.99 i mean not not like the best price but because it went to charity i didn't mind to be honest theme park um i've played it before on the snares like years ago i really enjoyed it as well uh, to be honest, I should have waited and just got it for the Saturn because I am going for the full Saturn set. But um, uh, it's alright. It's, it's just cool to have uh, anyway in the PS One, in the PS One collection. So it's all nice and complete. So I thought I'll grab it. Um, and plus, because it's going to charity, I'm just way more inclined to just buy it anyway. So yeah, I didn't mind that because they literally never turn up in the, our charity shops. So the last lot I'm going to show you guys. So um. I mean, it's a little while ago now, but um, I actually picked up a couple of Blu-rays near Halloween because I was in like that Halloween mood uh, for some horror movies. So uh, I didn't already have this on Blu-ray. I thought I'm just going to get it anyway because I bought um, this Blu-ray, Night of the Creeps. I don't know if you've heard of it. I can't remember what uh, year it came out. 1986. Yeah, they've recently um, released this for Blu-ray. So that's proper cool, this man great movie my uh, uncle Chaz is a geek like me he uh, got me into it so it comes with this is the dvd and then this is the uh, blu-ray disc so it comes with dvd and blu-ray and then it comes with um obviously just literally all about it and like old movie posters and stuff let me try that's it that's better i mean how cool do they look man <laughs> i love little things like that i really do the good news is your date is here. The bad news is he's dead. <laughs> it is such a good film. I think it's a right little hidden gem, to be honest. I don't think it quite got the credit it deserved. So, uh, yeah, they've not long brought this out. So I bought this from uh, HMV. Um, like I say, same with the um, the brand new games and stuff. Like, I only buy something if I really want it. And uh, I'm a sucker for, like, classic horror movies. So I got that. That was, like, fourteen ninety nine. Um Yeah, I know it's expensive, but... It's only like for a limited time only, I believe. It's there's not going to be like mass amounts of copies of this available, so I got that. Really would recommend that film, guys. And then this was like I'm sure it was like about four or five quid or something when you buy anything in store. So this is just obviously the classic Halloween, the first Halloween movie, 1978. Can't beat Michael Myers. Look at him and Laurie. Was it Laurie Strode or something like that? Laurie Stroud, yeah. So I absolutely love the first Halloween movie. And I mean, sure, I think it's like on Sky or Netflix, I don't know, but I thought I want to get it on Blu ray. So a couple of horror Blu rays there. And I was actually watching this YouTube video. It was um, top 50 scary levels in games. And obviously, you guys know I'm a sucker for horror. I love my horror stuff. Um, it was by a channel called Tats Top Videos. I'll show you like a, a little screenshot of it and whatever, of what it looks like. So um, I have actually watched all of it. Um, and featured within it, it was like this like war game, and um, like I think like um, the old soldiers or something had like turned into undead and stuff. And I was like, that looks really cool. And I, I have actually heard of this game, but I've never paid any attention to it. So it was just one pound fifty from CEX, and we had one in stock. So I thought I'll grab it while I'm in town. So it was called Shell Shock Two Blood Trails. So it does look proper good. 
Battle to Stay Alive as the rookie GI Nate, immersed in the ultra-violent events of the Vietnam War. So as you can see, you can see on the back, they've like turned into like kind of zombie guys. And uh, yeah, it just showed like a clip of this game and I was like, I want to check it out, see what it's like. Because I've never paid attention to this before. And with it only being 150, I thought I'll give it a go. I haven't had a chance to give it a go yet because I only just got it yesterday. But yeah, I thought I'd grab that as soon as it had a bit of horror advertised in it. Um, got a bit more CEX credit. Um, Honestly, don't even ask me what from. It must have been something from the car boot, like some old Wii Sports um, and fodder and whatever I traded in. I literally cannot remember. Um, I think I, I spent about, um, it must have been about 20-ish quid, not even that, maybe about 18 quid. But that was with credit, so it wouldn't have cost me as much. Um, we had a Mega Drive game in stock, Risky Woods. So honestly, I, most of the time I just buy them for the artwork because it's just so badass. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd grab that. Really nice condition. It's really lovely. Um, always love it when it has the manual. Always do. My, my Grimsby CX is not like the whole CX. You do sometimes get some with manual. Most of the time you will, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, don't know much about this game, but I've, I've like, YouTube like, little bits of gameplay. So, hopefully it's good. So I think it was about 14 quid. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and then I think this one, it's a Sega Saturn game. And I think it was like a fiver. Uh, obviously this was classed as boxed as well. Wipeout. I don't know if I've... I think I've got this one for the PS1, I think. I think I've got this one. Yeah, I think it's like the other Wipeout um, game that I don't have the manual for on PS1. But yeah, always nice to have it on Saturn. With a manual as well lovely condition so yeah i thought i would grab that and to finish things off guys i've got a console and i picked it up basically um it was like on swaps and sales and i, I recognize the guy um he's basically um he's called uh brock the 80s dude on the uh, instagram so shout out to you man thank you for selling me this um he picked it up and sold it for me um to me like when i saw his post on swaps and sales so it is we've all seen a ps2 before but this is a special one. It's a slim silver one. It is minty. So freaking nice. So freaking nice. I paid like 50, but I don't mind because it was minty. So I'll give you guys a, a quick look at the uh, inside contents. It's obviously everything you'd expect. Everything is in there and the inserts as well. And it even comes with uh, a PS2 remote. That is old school as hell. That brings back memories, man. So I never actually had one myself. I just remember my mate having one when he first got his PS2. Like I say, it is literally so minty. All the paperwork is there. A memory card and all that. Controller. All neatly uh, wired up. So, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd uh, show you guys. And obviously, you can see all the paperwork and what have you. But it's all complete. So buzzing having that. It's a nice little, uh, nice little PS2 piece. I think it looks cool as hell. The uh, the slim ones, the slim silver one. Uh, my main PS2 console that I actually use is an unboxed uh, fat silver one. So yeah, really nice to have that one. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed all the pickups I've showed you. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what you've picked up lately. I, I genuinely am interested. I don't just say it like some other it's mainly like the big youtubers who i watch like you know when they're just like oh let me know in the comments what gun you've got or what you're doing on for now whatever it's kind of like you're not going to go through the comments you don't even care like it, it really irritates me to be honest but it's usually the bigger youtubers though it's not none of us uh none of us car boot community pickup community it's usually just we're all sound we're all sound but um yeah, like I said, I'm genuinely interested, honestly, what you guys think to the pickups and what you guys picked up. So feel free to smash some comments down below. I don't mind at all. Uh, it's lovely to read and reply to you guys. So thanks for tuning in, as usual, and uh, good luck with your pickups, guys. I will see you very soon in a brand new pickups video. Take it easy, YouTube, and I'll see you in a bit.